Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm making this video because I want to show you about my new game that I just got, which is for free. And I hope you're good today. I'm sorry about the things that has been happening with my channel. It's just because I don't quite know a lot of things to do. And plus, we're almost reaching 100 subscribers. There's only 30 more subscribers scribes left now instead of talking let's just go and show you my thing i'm sorry about my face i couldn't sleep yesterday okay never mind yeah this is my um i have no idea what's it called this you can find this game which is called Spellbreak. you can find it on playstation for xbox i don't know which xbox but any xbox except xbox one nintendo switch and the epic game store which is the only place in in the computer that you can play this is the screen that you're gonna see this is my avatar <sighs> Okay, so there's exactly, I think I can use my books to show you playing and talking at the same time. So you're like, what is Spellbreak? Um, Spellbreak is a type of game that, it's like Fortnite, but instead you have, you need to get gauntlets and you can spawn with powers. I know you guys are, want to like see the things but I just need to put these books so you can see what I'm doing and talking at the same time and what exactly type of gauntlets are there well there is exactly six gauntlets for each element there's toxiologist tempest which is air I think it's a pyrokinesis, there's pyrokinesis, ice kinesis, yes. Instead of water, there's ice. Okay, guys, so, wait, let me just switch this. Oh. Oh, man, this is not quite working. I'm sorry about the things with, that's happening. Well, let me just see. Um, I cannot quite see, but you can also see. Hello, I'm here. So this is what you're gonna see. Um, you're gonna start with a pra a tutorial, which will tell you what to do. This is the chapter, which is like the battle pass. I want to get you the last skin in the game because it looks so cool. Let's go to the shop, which this is like where you can buy things. There's a lot of things. Plus, I don't have that many gold because I spent some of it. What is this flex? This is the strangest thing I ever seen. Okay, now let me tell you about the things. So I'm going to put it on practice or tutorial so you can see what's like how do you play the game so you can see it um press a s d for moving mouse for looking and yeah you can just walk up and you will see this you train to prep like this person will tell you what to do Head the location I marked ahead. Her name is Avria and that, uh, okay, I cannot quite say. I'm like you, a vol breaker and out a criminal, a mage. I belong the order of the vol breakers. We defy the vol breakers at every step. And we protect our fellow breakers now let's start your training portals may be the fastest way to travel but they're impersic 
So it tells you levitate with whole with space. Levitation cost mana and you can be toggled on and off. You have to hold hold space to levitate and you'll get free mana, which mana is your power thing. You're getting the hang of it. Levitation helps to transfer reach areas. Pyrocomerensis, which is the fire one, start with. So if you use um every single gauntlet, if look at my mouse, um if you click this, it will shoot the fireball, and if you click Q or hold Q to where to think of where it can be. If you do this, um, you will activate the power. So, like, let me show you. I'm clicking the mouse, the left side of the mouse, and I'm shooting the people. Which kind of takes a little long because they are moving so fast. Or you can just get close and then shoot them like this. Instead of eliminating a character, you exile them. Exile is another way to say to kill them. Now, you can use this flame wall, which will burn whoever shall go through it. So if we come here, we can combine powers together. <coughs> like it's showing you something. You can combine powers. So use the top you can use the toxic cloud and then use a fireball. Or you can use Yeah, it's it's showing you an like a uh, explosion. If you use um the toxic and then you use lightning and then you use fire, it will make an explosion. Runes provide special monuments. The wolf, yeah, this the the wolf one um will show you where people are. You gotta click shift to see where they are. Okay, plus, I know you're like, wait, how do you use the secondary gauntlet? Well, the only way you can use it is by using the right side of your mouse. It's showing you something. You can pick up things to upgrade, like common boots will upgrade your speed. Um, an amulet will uh, increase your mana. And last of all, a belt will increase okay. your armor. <laughs> and you can also find rare items. You can upgrade your you can upgrade your things. Like let me show you. Oh gosh. Like do you see this? This is where your armor stays. And each one have a different rarity for it so let's come over here now yeah you you get health for and the armor will increase your health now you see this click F to pick up the health potion and then hold Z to drink the potion or you can use the armor shot oh, sorry that was an accident you can use the armor shard to increase your armor. And plus, armor is like your shield. Now you can look at this. Communication and teamwork are key of success. Work with your squad to achieve victory. Yeah, this is just a test. This is your squad mate. 
It will show you things. Things don't always go as planned if you can't protect your squad mate. And you can revive you can revive your friend. And then when you're flying down, you can use the same buttons to move, to fly to somewhere or steer. Or click E S E S C to go to like to this place. Now here's the important part. Remember when I told you there's six elements? This is let's start with the very common one. Fire. The fire one shoots fireballs and make a fire wall. Now let's go to tox to toxiologist. Toxiologist is also the toxic one. Oh yeah, and I also made a powerful thing. You can shoot, I think about like a lot of these toxic balls. And let me tell you a hint. If you, if you, like, the more kills that you get, the more you upgrade your weapons. And like when you upgrade your toxiologist thing, whatever it is called, um, and if it's on like this one, can you see it? If you can see it, tell me. Um, it's right here. If it's if this one's right here, it will make puddles. And then you can also use a smoke bomb, which can do more things. Now let's go to another one, which is the earth one. Instead of shooting things, you actually need to do a ground punch. I just need to wait, and you can throw a giant boulder. Now let's go to one that's a sniper one, the ice one. You have a ice rifle, and you can shoot at people. And if you shoot their head, it does more damage. And you can also make this ice, like this tundra power. Just wait, let me show you. Which freezes your, freezes any enemies close or nearby to you. Let's go to the one that everyone loves. It's the lightning one. You shoot lightning bolts in a medium range. It doesn't do that much damage, but it shoots really quick. Now we just, now I just gotta wait for it. Okay, let me show you now. You can summon a lightning bolt to attack whoever they are, and then it will shock them for about three seconds. Now let's go to one that's a spamming one. Wait, where is it? The wind gauntlet. The wind gauntlet shoots these wind things. Like, I'm not joking, it, it shoots really fast. And then it can also summon a tornado. And you're like, wait, where's the tornado? It just sticks a, like, let me show you something. It, like you see this, when you use it, it takes a little time to recharge. It will summon her a tornado, which will keep anyone trapped and will also take damage. So we talked all about the other gauntlets. Now let's talk about the, the runes, which are the powers. Let's start with the invisibility rune, which kind of takes a while. But let me tell you my favorite. It's the, it's the flight rune, which can make you fly. Okay, now we can use it. This rune that I just used makes you invisible for about five seconds. Now let's go to another rune, which is this rune, the dash rune. This rune will help you a lot when you're like levitating. When you levitate and use it, you will go straight forward. But it, it won't like make you go really fast. Like, let me show you. It's just like a push. Now let's use this one, which like, it's like levitate, but instead it's a slow fall. Like, let me tell you, um, you know Minecraft, right? And there's this potion that makes you fall slowly down. And this room, it's just like, it's just like that potion that makes you fall down. Now let me show you. 
you fly up and then you and then you can fly down really slowly but it's like a boost for you to go up speaking of boost to go up the spring step is the next one on our room list Plus, for some reason, you're really fast. And you can also find different rooms, which will kind of, which you can upgrade. Now let's use the room that I just got, which makes you kind of like fly up. Now to the next one, the flight, which is my favorite one. And this one takes a lot longer. And if I were you, get the legendary flight one, because it. It's like, it's so slow to recharge. Plus guys, let me show you something. You can, if you some when you summon a tornado and you shoot a firebolt, it can make a fire nato. And now let's fly. If you shift, you can only fly for about four seconds. And remember when I told you that the legendary ones are like the best ones. You already know this one. You can like, it's like called the wolf blood. You can see enemies from far away. The common Charisma one, which takes a really long time. Um, This one is a super bad one. Like, let me tell you. When you walk forward, you go back. Like, think about, I start right here and then I go over here. And then when I use this, I go back where I, I started. Like, let me now show you. I'm using it. I, see, that's what I, that's what I mean. Like, when you use it, um, you go back for it. And this one is my, f not my second favorite one. Teleportation. You can teleport anywhere. I wonder what happens if you use lightning with fire. Okay, never mind. Now let me show you this. You see the pink thing? It tells you where you could teleport. If it disappears, or I think it's just because I'm far away. Yeah, let me show you. You just gotta click um shift two times. Now let's go to the last room, which is like the invisibility room. But instead, it's a sprinting one. Now, let me show you something. These are the power-ups. You start with three common power-ups. The purple one, which is like, I think it's over here. That one will make, that one will make your mana go away. Little, like, a little long. Like, it won't be a real... What I'm trying to say is that it won't disappear for, like, a long time. This one, that one, will increase your attack speed. And the last one, you know, it looks like you're running. And, yes, it will upgrade your speed. Which is also called the escapist. Now we can use our power. Let me show you. I told you. It's like a sprint. It's like the dash with invisibility. But it's not really long. Now...